Hello, here we go. Same with the storyteller, you know, claim here. Uh, but before we leave, we got a ton of stuff to look at here. Ooh, ooh! Did I know that before? I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this. Learned something from reading these books. New skills. Okay. I sense some secret door. Secret door? Nice. What's in here? Ooh. All kinds of fun stuff in here. Hold on. 25 world beats. I don't think I have anybody that's good at that. Damn! It's just not my lucky day. I mean, I could do it if I rolled a 17. I'm not going to sit here and try and spam this trying to roll a 17. Let's try one more time. We're going to try one more time. Damn! Yeah. It's just not my lucky that day. That was worse. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Moving on. Yeah, we'll skip the light pick. Whoops. Or we won't skip the light pick. No. Skip the plain leather armor. Skip the plain scale mail. What's on here? Anything? Quarterstaff of coercion. Too bad I don't have anybody that uses quarterstaffs. Bookcase is full of text describing demons, methods of fighting them, wherever all this knowledge was not enough to save cadavers from the spawn of the abyss. Oh, learned something new. Might be trap, might be treasure. Secret book. Watch out for trouble. Trezbot. Let's try this again. See if we can do something here. I must accept my failure. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. Armor of Focus. Okay, it says wear a plus two bonus on concentration checks. That might be kind of interesting. Info. Oh, I did learn something from that book. Cool. What else we got? Anything else? Oh, yeah. One more book. Info. To render them the Guardian of Canopus. I learned something from that book, too. Save two wizards and a guy named Clay. 
Thank you. Oh, hello, me an interest for the claim at your service. Thank you for helping us. We thought we were doomed to perish. There's death everywhere. Sometimes I think we are all doomed, but then death has passed us by. And we are all still alive. Hey! The dog's being obnoxious. Of course not. Alright, do you mean, does he need to go outside? Yeah. Okay. Who are you? Crusaders of the Order of the Flaming Lance. Our order dedicates itself to the pursuit of hidden knowledge and magical methods of fighting the demons. We are searching for our leader, Sister Miamir, the scholar. She spent the last few weeks here working day and night on some important research. When the demons attacked the city, we rushed to find her, but it seems she left the, sh the city shortly before the attack began. Yet another order that couldn't even protect its own. The more I see of Crusaders, the more I'm disappointed. Miamir just left the city, leaving no word where she could be found. None. She left uh, in a hurry, not leaving any notes or orders. Why? I have no idea. The only thing that may serve as a clue is this book, the one she was studying. My Company of Worn Out Words, Songs of a Crusader. Interesting. How did you end up in this trap? The traitor met us at the door. He seemed to be a faithful and passionate crusader, and we didn't suspect a thing until they attacked us from behind and knocked us out. We didn't expect such trickery. Most of our Order brethren are dead, and we were desperate to believe that this man in armor was a fellow crusader, a comrade. While we were unconscious, they removed our armor, tossed us on the pyre of books. What macabre blasphemy. Ain't it always the way? You start to think you might be able to trust a fellow, and boom, he goes and stabs you in the back. But if you never trust anyone, then soon you become a killer, just like Holrun. That's hardly better, is it? Ha, don't start on that now. Fine, fine, you convince me. You can trust people, but only one in every dozen, I'd say for not long uh, who's the elf with you is he a crusader as well no he calls himself storyteller he only recently arrived from Canabras. we often saw him in the library he was interested in writings about early sarkoris and the era before that it seems the traitor taught caught him in the library and decided to kill him along with the rest of us have you noticed that the storyteller is a little bit odd even for Canabras, where you can meet the strangest people from the farthest corners of the globe among the crusaders have you ever seen such a decrepit elf before? Not just old, but ancient, with a gray beard like that. Elves don't tend to grow beards, I thought, and they don't have wrinkles. An elf with wrinkles and a beard? A detestable absurdity. Go to the Defender Turret. Those who are ready to fight back are gathered there. Okay, sure. The city still fights. Why? That's incredible news. We will go to our sanctuary, guarded by our brothers and sisters. We will bring them to the Defender's heart. Nice. Cool. Mr. Storyteller. <clears throat> I prefer people call me Storyteller. It very accurately describes the sphere of my occupation and interest. Most of the places I, I have been, I am known by that name. I want to talk to you about something. Uh, and thanks for my rescue. I, of course, will render you a service in turn, whatever it may be. However, at this moment, I wish to be somewhere safer than the present surroundings. My advice, my recent adventures have fatigued me greatly. I would be grateful if you could help me to a safe shelter of some kind. Typical, you do someone good turn instead of saying thank you, they just ask for more help. We're easy on the old elf, he's had a rough go of it. Yeah, because we've had it so easy. We can't not help him. If it was up to me, Grandfather Elf, I'd throw you over my shoulder and carry you out of here. This is no place for old folks. All right, I'm taking you to the finish heart. Please accept my sphere. Sin, 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 wow. Sincere thanks once again. If I may, please don't rush. I will struggle to keep up with your long, young legs. Okay, yeah, it's straight there. Ooh. That is some tart apple cider.
The defender short greets you with unexpected liveliness. Beyond the walls of the tavern, the once bustling and festive city lies in ruins, but somehow none of that can be felt within these walls. The people in the room are talking, laughing, raising toasts, even softly singing. It doesn't look like typical tavern revelry, but nor is it the grim vigilance of recent days. Uh, Sila's at the table. Dago, come, let me introduce you to Elon, Jenna, and Curl, the fearless warriors of the League of the Inspiring Cart. It was me who convinced Irabeth to use what Jana, Jana, Curl, and Elon found for a little party. If you look out the window, you might think the end times might have come and the abyss has devoured us all. I th thought some simple pleasures, good food and good company, could help keep the gloom at bay. Um... <clears throat> Have I ever turned down merrymaking in good company? Ha, let's raise our mugs, my friends. Well, they're not really my friends. I'm supposed to. I guess we'll just shrug silently. Hey, are we just going to sit here with grim faces? I say we let get to know each other a little better. Tell me about your order. The stories go, it's not very entertaining. It was born far to the south in Andorin. <clears throat> so in the end I decided to choose another path uh, so I ended up in Mendev and became a squire for the Hounhards it's a small order by tradition it's never more than 12 members and a new member is only knighted after one of the elders dies interesting we patrol the lanes along the Wardstone line fortunately death is common among the Hounhards I became a full knight two years ago after laying my mentor to rest Places among the Crusaders. Okay. Um, have you been uh, serving the Eagle Watch for long, Jenna? I signed up four days before the demon attack. Am I lucky or what? I'm an apprentice of a famous fencing master from M Mavon. Okay. I learned a thing or two from him, believe me. I soon got bored fighting off bandits and getting involved in the petty squabbles of the bickering ri river kingdoms. I wanted a proper challenge. And you can't find a better place in Mendev. And what do you know? On the moment I arrived, the demonic invasion began. My father would say, that's no accident. Fate brought me here. Uh, what about you, Carl? How did you end up among the condemned? I just did what everyone else was doing. I grew up in the slums where everyone stole a little or maybe smuggled or guarded stashes. But I never killed anybody and I never did anything really bad. <coughs> I got caught stealing and they made me choose between prison and the condemned. Well, of course, I didn't want to go to prison. I'm not that good a fighter. But as Nord Vorber is my witness. A thief can also be useful in a war against demons. I've always been a good scout. I can sneak under the nose of any monster, but I don't know where my friends are now. We got separated when the demons rampaged through the city. Chin up, friend. Whoever you were in the past, you, you're our friend now, and a crusader. Your skills will be useful to us, you'll see. How do you all know Sila? I met the road of Canabras. The, um, the demons attacked us at the same time they, at his camp, at the same time they attacked Canabras, we managed to fight them off. We hurried to the city's aid, joined forces with the Eagle Watch. On the last night of my order, we could still fight. It's so good to see Sela again. I met Sela at a tavern in Canabras before the attack. Of course, she was one of the few who would sit at a table with the condemned. Knights usually don't even look at look at us, but Sila's different. That's what made me notice Sila too. So I sat down to talk to her. I never understood why everyone treated the condemned so horribly, and I still don't. Our curl is a great lad, so after that night, Sila and I went around the taverns together. Mendev is an amazing place. People from all over the world come here for glory, redemption, or to help those in trouble. And they always find each other. This might be the last place in the world to find like-minded people and friends. That was a toast, in case you didn't notice. Uh, is some well, did you just call me over because to meet them, or is something that matter? I didn't just want to talk about today's celebration. See, Elon is in trouble. I want to help him. I don't know anybody else in the city I can turn to. Bad idea. I told you I don't want to bother anyone. Okay. Okay. In truth, I do not wish to impose. My problems are just minor problems. 
a paladin of Ioma Day, and her friends certainly have more important things to do, especially now that Canabras has been overrun. Uh, take the three of you, for example. It seems like all you did was save one cart from some lesser demons. But look how many people are happy now. That feat will never be sung of in songs, but who knows? Maybe thanks to this one joyous hour of peace and rest, and the defenders of Canabras will find strength to protect the city. I talk too much, don't I? Well, Sir Elin, I want to help you. My reputation as a holy warrior of Ioma Day won't suffer if it's more of a minor adventure than a glorious feat. Alright, I'll explain. The life of a crusader has given me more than just a purpose. A chance to serve a righteous cause. When I abandoned the life of a mercenary in Cade Mendev, I gained something else I never expected. It's here that I met. May all the ladies here forgive me. The finest girl in the world. It's a miracle she found any love in her own heart for a bungler like me. But I'm not about to let this miracle go. Not even the demon lord Nascari and all his demon army will stand in my way. <laughs> Luckily, my beloved is now safely away from Canabras for half a year. I've been getting up my courage to propose to her. I even ordered a ring from Derek Sunhammer, the best jeweler in Mendev. Independent knightly orders live mostly off donations. I'm not what you would call rich, so I want to make Cam happy. But it took three months to find a jewel of the same shade as her eyes, and twice that long to scrape together enough money. Master Derek's work was worth it, but I lost the ring during the demon attack, and I'll probably never find a worthy replacement. The ring is most likely still at the Houndheart's camp. Elin and his friends have time to pack up the camp. First, the demons ambush them, and they rush off to help Canabras. They could at least go there and check. Not right now, of course, once the situation in the city is under control. Okay, fine. I'll help. because companion side quests are kind of necessary to do despite your alignment and how your character probably wouldn't really do them, but that's okay. Seal, I hope you can convince Irbeth to let me go with you and do this. I don't want to be part of for my friends. Of course, if the League of the Inspiring Cart has come together in this dark hour, we must continue onward together. Okay. Got 150 experience, not too bad. Um, so I think I still need to rest, right? Oh, I need to level up Nenio to level four. A scroll supplement, okay. Yeah, I'm still doing next. Um, yeah, let's even up his decks. Throw a point in here. Uh, yep, Arcana, World, Nature, and use magic device. Um, let's go with Blur. Oh, I get two. Let's do Blur and. Uh, Yeah, we'll throw a scorching ray in there. Probably likes a good scorching ray. Okay, well, it's not really going to do a whole lot of good until I can get her precise strike. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe I shouldn't use rays at all. She's got a spell pen. Spell focus on illusion. So yeah, she seems like she's more of a buffer, debuffer, support person rather than a spec to do any damage because yeah, we get point blank master and precise shot before you get rid of that negative four 
uh, uh, shooting the melee. I mean, I guess if I didn't shoot at the melee. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll think about it. I need. Do I have? Uh, I'll take the wheel. I I don't have anything to give to her. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to give to her. Okay. No, so she's fine just like she is. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to a priest here about the dream that I had. Um, oh yeah, and I gotta show that might have after reading her journal. That thing, Kalas, it might have been a mistake. to try and convince him. Alright. Alright, well, let's talk to Denny, you know? See what she has to say. Boy, I am pleased with you. I asked you to bring me to safety, and that's exactly what you did. Indeed. Having a follower to aid me is the most efficient and frankly pleasing. With you on hand, I shall conquer new horizons, plumb the depths of knowledge hitherto unknown, and scale the dizzying heights of future discoveries. Wow. What I mean is, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to FRC immense potential in our cooperation. Uh, what exactly do you mean by future cooperation? Hand in hand, we'll unravel the greatest mysteries inaccessible to the minds of ordinary people. Just imagine. I, leading the way, proudly staring into the faces of the gods themselves, and you, my loyal follower. Oh, excuse me. Walking behind me every step of the way, writing down my deepest thoughts and admiring the profundity of my intellect. Um, if we hold hands, you won't be able to go in front of me and lead the way. You are the catalyst, which then it reacts with my intellect, will allow the latter to grasp the very essence. Wow, why did I let myself get dragged into this? Hmm, what? Who are you? Oh, yes, my new follower. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, yes, I must provide some verbal encouragement for your as yet modest achievements and try to induce you to strive more of such... Wow, strive for more of such encouragement. That is the principle that underpins any training. Ah, I see. Your modest nature was unsettled by the overabundance of my gratitude. I do apologize for putting you in such an awkward position. I will never praise you again. Unless I forget. Now let's get back to the business in hand. Your new assignment will be to take me to inconspicuous ruins that are located in an even more inconspicuous valley lying between Canaveras and Dresden, as soon as it's reasonably practical. practicable. I'll mark the place on your map. What's so special about these ruins? Glad you asked. This is my greatest hypothesis, my secret project, and I won't pass up the opportunity to share it with you because you are my most loyal follower and you are worthy of possessing such knowledge. And also because you're the first person to ever ask me about it. Ah, great. Yeah, that's nice. Some time ago, I was walking around the border of the Waldoon, and I met a strange person. He was wearing a frayed gray robe, and his face was hidden by an odd white mask. Of course, I didn't miss the opportunity to ask him about the reasons for his absurd appearance. And you know what he said to me? He said, I am the answer, but what is the question? Then he walked off in the direction of the Waldoon. The next day, after I'd already gotten, forgotten about the first encounter, I had another similar encounter. This time I met an elven woman judging by the pointy ears sticking out from behind the mask. 
I am the answer, but what is the question? She said before taking off toward the old room, and then I realized everything became clear to me. I know a mystery when I see one, considered as one of my myriad talents. After all, these geysers weren't simply on their way to a costume party, were they? After examining several maps, I determined that they were all heading in one direction, to a place not far from Carnopris, a place which is marked as Nameless Ruins, even on ancient Sarkorian maps. That's where I need to go. Unraveling the secret of that place will be my greatest discovery. It will secure my place in history, or perhaps even in legend. Uh, okay, that's all I wanted to know about your task. Well, now you know, so off we go. Did I just make a rhyme? Perhaps I've discovered a poetic talent in myself. Let's conduct an experiment. Quickly, say any word, and I'll try to find a rhyme for it. Whatever. Not too clever. Now or never. Not the, not the best rhymes, don't you think? Well, this experiment was unsuccessful. We learned that I have no poetic talent, after all. But it's no reason to despair. Having a gift of poetry in addition to my inexhaustible intelligence would have been a little too much. Besides, I am catastrophically busy and have no time to spend on writing poetry. I don't like it when you call me boy. My name is Dago. On the grand scale of world history, your name is irrelevant. I have no reason to remember it. You see, the brain of any given individual can contain only a limited amount of facts. I only expend my memory on things that are truly important. The laws of thermodynamics, divine esoterica, planar geography, things that will lead the learning to brighter future. Besides, what if I make a great discovery, but I won't be able to remember it, because my memory is full of outdated or useless information. What a nightmare that would be. What a loss for the whole of Galarian. Um, are there any names worth remembering? There are, and to my deepest regret, there are too many of them. The names of gods and demigods, the names of rulers, conquerors, and other persons by some reason deemed great by the people of Valerian. They are etched their names in history, and alas, every self-respecting, educated person must know them. But there are some names I am happy to remember. Great scientists, some of them divine, others immortal. True keepers of knowledge and great experimentalists. The pioneers of knowledge. Rory, Nethys, Arilu Vorlash. Um... I didn't expect you to mention Arilu Vorlash. Interesting. You think so, too? She is the greatest of the greatest. Just imagine... She opened a, a rift from Galarian to the Abyss. No one knew how. No one believed it possible. No one even dreamed of such a thing. And she just did it. It was the experiment of the century. I would have been so, so happy if I could have been in her place. Of course, some part of the Galarian's population died as a result of her experiment, and the Crusaders are still wrestling with its consequences to this day. But the very essence of what Arilu managed to do was a breakthrough of cosmic significance, both figuratively and literally. Sooner or later, the world will be closed. Peace will return to Galarian. As for victims of the ongoing war, they will be remembered as unfortunate but unavoidable sacrifices made at the altar of science. Were are we talking about something? Okay, I have to go. This conversation lasted approximately five minutes. By the way, did you know that it's the exact same amount of time the Inquisitors of Canaveras need to find a defendant guilty? But to shake off Inquisitors chasing you takes five times as long. That experiment proved that running while clad in heavy armor is not burdensome for them at all. Wow. Uh, priest boy, right here. Whenever I sleep outside the walls of the corner, I'm plagued by terrible dreams. Can you help me? You look tired, but otherwise entirely healthy. If we were anywhere else, I would simply tell you to get some rest. But we are on the board of the world, and I am all too aware of what's happening to you. As you know, the wound is a gift of, between Galarian and the Abyss, and all the evil that feeds the Abyss does the opposite in our world. It feeds on Galarian. So it is that even when we cannot see demons near us, our ultimate foe, the Abyss, is always surrounding us. Many soldiers fighting in the world would experience similar things. They suffer terrible nightmares, get no peace, and sometimes even lose their minds. But we are trained to help you with this affliction. By the will of Abadar, I have consecrated an altar here. The God's grace permeates the space around it. Soothing one's soul and quieting thoughts during rest. So if you find your nerves are fraying, seek out a holy place like this. Approach it and all the corruption will be cleansed from you. Okay, cool. I have to go. Uh, well, let's actually, let's go here. Do a quick sell. Okay. Bulk selling. Um, nope. Uh, 
think so? I'll have to look. I don't think anybody's using that. Okay, we'll look at the armors, see if anybody's using them. The rest of that's good to go. Dink. Uh, who do we have? Like, oh, story chip. Yes, let's talk to you. Blind enough looks better than he did in your last encounter. His clothes are clean, his pill face is some color. Is that you, my savior? I recognize your footsteps. Determined footsteps of a fitting and determined person. Allow me to thank you again for saving me. Please accept this humble gift as a token of my appreciation. Oh, I forgot a ring. Everybody ex has explained why you were looking for me. I warned the authorities of Canaveras that the local ward zone has been desecrated. They waved off my warning and paid for their inaction. I have examined many ward zones, but only in the one guarding Canaveras did I sense a flaw. A sort of a spot of corruption inside. A vulnerability the demons will surely use. They are able to spread the blight inside the ward stone, corrupt it, and make it their weapon. It frightens me to think what that it to think what it will be capable of. The ward stone must be destroyed. Um, who are you? Why do they let you examine the ward stone? I'm a storyteller. I'm just an old elf, a bit more and moldy for an elf. I've seen so many things, been to many places not so long ago. I witnessed the making of a young kingdom in the solar lands. Hey, that's Pathfinder Kingmaker. I've played that game. I live by a remarkable and promising individual. My advice on the complicated matter of conquering those lands proved useful to that leader. This is not uncommon for me. Some seek my advice or services, and I don't refuse. This is how I acquired my reputation as an old vagrant who's never hurt anyone. Stayed out of other squabbles, but sometimes gave good advice. I had a few friends under Rosine who vouched for my integrity, and this is why my humble request to be allowed to see the Wardstones was granted. I visited all of them, but only found cause for alarm in Canabras. So he touches uh, objects and then sees their past and sees the stories all related to that object. Okay. Uh, what blade is concealed in the Wardstone? I don't have an answer for that. I can only guess. Okay. Oh boy. Have you heard of the Red Morning Massacre? Monago invaded the city with a crowd of her followers. They covered the ward stone with pieces of dead bodies and splashed it with blood from top to bottom. Is such an abomination dark the radiance of the gift of Ioma to yourself? The locals think this is possible, but who knows? It was not the last attack. Um, even a terrifying battle or Coram Cor Zada? Cor Coram Zada? Coram Zada. Uh, their attacks were rebuffed, but they still reached their target. Uh, it went to Corona on its own, but Ascari himself has now come to take advantage of the weakness to open an abscess that has been festering for years, unnoticed by the people of Canabras. The weakened stone gave in. Now it's in demon hands, and nothing is stopping them from spreading the blight through the entire stone and from it to other stones along the whole perimeter of the world. I already know why he traveled to the wood stones. Okay. like it. Demons might have something. Um, okay. Well, you know what? We're going to continue this another time because I had a long week and I'm falling asleep sitting here. So this one's going to be short. So this is all I can take. Let's go ahead and save. Save. Shaman, save, save. All right. At some point, we'll get on a regular schedule and do this regular, on a regular basis. But that is going to be it for the night for me. Thank you for watching.